What is good, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Bible with the Daily Dabber. Last time, Bible chapter Z, we looked at chapter 19, no, 18, Joshua. The vision rest of the land, we finished off the divisions, but today, we look in chapter 19 of Joshua. Land a lot of the Simeon, if you can tell by my voice. I'm not coughing every fucking every like three seconds, which is which is much better, you know, much better for me. I had a nice, nice, very, very long sleep last night. You know, I can like can't lie and indulge a little bit of Instagram Facebook, but you know, I played a bit of games, but you know, that's okay. It's just about getting well first, so isn't it? So now I'm better. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I think I can read this whole chapter without coughing once, that's my challenge. Well not challenge because if I have to cough, I'll cough like <coughs> you know what I'm saying? But like let's go. Land of life, Simeon. The second lot came out for the tribe of Simeon, according to its clans. Their inheritance lay within their territories of, of Judah. It included Bathsheba, or Sheba, Moldah, Hazaz, Shula, Bala, Ezem, Elzolad, Bethel, Homer, Ziklag, Beth, Makab, Hazar, Susa, Beth, Lebaoth, and Saruhen, 13 towns in the villages. Ain, Ramon, Ether, and Ashan, four towns in their villages. And all the villages around those towns as far as Bela, Beir, Ramah, and the Negev. This was the inheritance of the tribe of the Simeonites, according to his clans. The inheritance of the Simeonites was, was taken from the share of Judah, because Judah's portion was more than they needed. So the Simeonites received their inheritance within the territory of Judah. Then the Lord Zebulon. The third lot came up for Zebulon according to its clans. The boundary of their inheritance went as far as Sarid. Going west, it ran to Morala, touched the Dabesheth, and extended to the ravine near Jokniam. It turned east from Sarid towards the sunrise to the territory of Kislos Tabor, and went on to Dabereth up to Japhia. Then it continued eastward to Gath Hefer and Eth Kazin. It came out at the Brimon and turned towards Nia. Therefore, no, there the boundary went round on the north to Hanara and ended at the valley of Iftar El. Included were Katha, Nahalal, Shimron, Idala, and Bethlehem. There were two towns and their villages. Twelve towns and their villages. I, I can't read though. <laughs> These towns and their villages were on the inheritance of Zebulon, according to its clans. Land allowed to Issachar. The fourth lot came out for Issachar, according to its clans. Their territory included Jezreel, Kazuloth, Shishunim, Hatharim, Shion, Anaharath, Rabbith, Kishion, Ebez, Remeth, En Ganim, En Hadath, and Beth Pazez. The boundary touched Tabor, Shazubashamalabashamalasama, and Beshemesh, and ended at Jordan. There were 16 towns in their villages. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Issachar, according to its clans. They ended lot to Asher. The fifth lot came out for the tribe of Asher according to its clans. Their territory included Helka, Ali, Beten, Ashapashapash, Al Makamalagrek, Amad, and Mishal. And the western boundary touched Carmel and Shaihor and Lebanon. It then turned east towards Beth Dagon, touched the Bulon and the valley of Iftar El. It went north to Beth Emek and Neil, passing Kabul on the left. It went to Abdon, Rehob, Hamon, and Ken Kenna, as far as Greater Sidon. The boundary then turned back toward Ramah, went toward the fourth city of Tyre, turned towards Hosa, and came out at the Mediterranean Sea in the region of Agzi, Uma, Afek, and Rehob. There were 22 towns and 12 villages, and their villages. These towns and villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Asher, according to its clans. Then the lot of Nephtali. The sixth lot came out from Nephtali, according to its clans. Their boundary went from Helef and the large tree in Zainan and Rim. Passing Adami, Nekeb, and Jebunil to Lakum and ending at the Jordan. The boundary ran west through Asnos Tabor and came out at Hukok. <laughs> it touched the Bulon on the south, Asia on the west, and the Jordan on the east. The fortified cities were Zidin, Zer, Hamath, Reka, Kinnereth, Adama, Ramah, Hazor, Kadesh, Edrai, En Hazor, Ayan, Migdal, El, Horem, Beth, Anath, and Besh Shemesh. These were 19 towns and their villages. These towns and villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Naphtali, according to its clans. Then the Lord said, Dan, oh, this is my land, bro. 
the seventh lot came out for the tribe of Dan and called into his clans. The territory of their inheritance included Zora, Eshtaol, Ir, Shemesh, Shalabin, Ejalon, Itala, Elon, Timna, Ekron, Etkle, Giptitikon, Balla, Shahod, Bene Barak, Gath, Ramon, Mi, Jakon, and Rakon, the area facing Joppa. When the territory of the Danites was lost to them, they went up and attacked Lashem, took it, put the sword to it, and occupied it. They settled it in Lashem and named it Dan after their ancestor. These towns and their villages were the inheritance of the tribe of Dan, according to its clans. Dan allowed to Joshua. When they finished dividing the land into its allotted portions, the Israelites gave Joshua son of Nun an inheritance among them, as the Lord commanded. They gave him the town he asked for, Timnah, Sarah, and the hill country of Ephraim, and he built up the town and settled there. These are the territories that Eliezer, son of the priest Joshua, son of Nun, and the heads of the tribal clan of Israel assigned by Lot at Shiloh, at the presence of the Lord at the entrance to the tent of meeting. And so they finished dividing the land. Well, thank you all for listening. It's been a pleasure. I am the Daily Daba. And this is... Yeah.